have no idea. Today the same question, but uh, the being shape and the uh, load conditions change. So that's why we will solve these questions for the same purpose: shear force and bending moment. Okay. Uh, we will find the shear force and bending moment at point C, but this C will be changed because of the load conditions change. Okay. So first we have to draw the pre-body diagram. Okay. And then we will be stop the cutting in P and C and then we will solve for C. Okay. So first we have to be draw the pre-body diagram. So this is our P. Okay. This is C point. And the UDL, uh, as I said it before, the UDL will be changed like uh, this. Okay. We will find the UDL for this. And then we will be divided by 2, so that's why we will be minus this. Like 6 multiplied by, this side is 6, multiply by 6. It's 36, 36 divided by 2, so this means uh, 18. 18 will be here. So the distance, how do we find the distance? The distance divided by 3, 6 divided by 3, so that's why this will be 2 meter. Okay, this will be right here, but of all. Okay, and this one is. 3 meter, so three meter. Okay, here is pin, so there will be a two unknown x and y, so it will be bx and by and the other side is a rocker, so rocker and ruler the same. So here is also a y one unknown. Okay, let's find the support. So there is no axis forces, so bx is equal to zero. Apply by f of y. So A Y is going upward, so it's positive. The B Y is also going upward, so it's positive. And the force is uh, going downward, so it's negative. So this one is 18. So it should be go to the outside. So it should be 18 kilometer. Okay. This is the same procedure as we did. And now we'll take a moment at any point. So let me take a moment at the A. Okay. The B X will be zero because it's also zero and it's also passing from the A point. So that's why it's zero. Now, uh, just multiply 18, multiply by 2, okay, and also this the other one is negative, so by multiply by total distance. So by is here, and this total distance will be multiplied. So it's 6, and there is no other force, so it's equal to 0. By will be go to the outside, so it should be cross, and this one will be equal to, so it should be positive. And this one is 36 divided by 6, okay. So it should be by. So let's just find the by. So it's what six uh, thirty six divided by six. So by would be six. Okay. Now put this six in this equation. So let's start put here is uh, direct ay plus six equal to eighty. So six. Will be good to the outside is minus so 18 minus 6 so a y will be 12 kilo meter. okay now find the shape of some bending moment at c so cut the beam at c okay what we will do we have to cut the beam at c but there will be a change this force now will be changed because of this force that side is uh, maximum and this side is a uh, uh, minimum so we have to find first of all the kilonewton per meter is going downward like this one is 6 and this is 6 so uh, here is 0 so it means 1 kilonewton per meter is going downward okay 1 kilonewton per meter is going downward so how to redraw this uh, shear force so here is uh, the changes as we said uh, the 1 kilonewton per meter is going downward okay because of here is the zero millimeter is uh, zero meter the load is six and when the length is six there is zero load so it means one kilonewton per meter is going downward okay so let's draw the shape again to clear about that one okay i cut it here at c okay this one is the normal force and here is shear and this moment okay here is the, the rocker so there is no force okay 
and the y axis is like this. Okay, anyway, okay. But now here is six, and when it's going downward, 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 it's come to three meters. So here is also something. Okay, so when go one kilonewton per meter is going downward, so it's mean three kilonewton downward. So there is a rectangle and there is a triangle. Okay. So this means the downward is also 3, the upward is also 3, but the upward is triangle, so this one is a rectangle, okay? So now draw the three-body diagram, so here is 12, the triangle will be 3, multiply by 3, 6, this will be on the mid, okay? 6 on the mid, and the other one is, we will solve for this area. Okay, and then divide by 2 so it's 3 multiplied by 3 and divide by 2 so it's 3 and where will be located so 3 divided by 3 is 1 meter okay so here the 3 kilometer will be here and the 6 kilometer will be here this is our beam this is normal shear and moment now equation uh, apply the equation of for y for to find the shear force so minus v minus 3 minus 6 plus 12 equal to 0 so this means 9 and we go to outside so it's positive and this one is 9 plus 12 this mean is 3 okay and equal to uh, so v is equal to 3 kilometer okay now find the moment so mc this will be bc mc so Sorry, I again hold M. So this one will be positive. The MC is itself is positive. Okay. And the other one is going to be negative. So 6 multiplied by is the mid. So it's 1.5. Okay. And also the uh, another one is also negative. So it should be 3 multiplied by from the left side is 1. So here is leaving meter this one is one this one is another and the positive uh, sorry these two is positive because of it's making the same sign and the last one will be negative so it should be 12 multiplied by 3 equal to 0 so it here is 36 now first try from the start 1.6 is mean 9 plus 3 multiplied by 2 6 negative 36 equal to 0 so 6 and 9 is 15 15 36 minus 15 so it's 21 so mc minus 21 equal to 0 so go to the outside so it should be positive 21 let's draw the shear force and the moment diagram uh, this should be easy. This kilonewton per meter. Okay. 